Did that run it back? Let's run up them racks. Had to fall back for a second. I need coming back. Put three of my fold on the map. You a hot nigga gonna take you a nap. Got mothers on the side like a way to be cap. Say you gang, I say that's cap. Make a hole that throw, hold it in your lap. Rockin' like boost, nigga, off the flap. Nigga, want that smoke? I'ma make him that pack. Ryan with gunner with a whole lot of gizzy. We tryna run all up. Whoa, whoa, what up, people? You hear me? So I told y'all we was gonna talk about old funk and food. You hear me? Um, so uh, let's kind of like dive right on into it. You hear me? So you know, gangster uh was saying he had beef with funk and food, and he was saying that uh he had a hundred some years, but um he really got ninety nine years. He did. He had gave he had gave life back. You then he had came home. You hear me? Before the situation, him getting the 99 years. He had came home off a of life sentence, right? And uh, he come out here and he was doing this thing. And um, he ended up getting into a little mix up with this little dude. And uh, he ended up shooting a little dude. And um, the dude didn't die. You hear me? And he caught a Tim murder charge. And he got the 99 years. You hear me? The dude went to court, testified, even see he was having nightmares and everything else. He did. He didn't feel safe or whatever. So uh, he ended up getting the 99 years. You hear me? Now, it's a lot that go behind that story of why a dude didn't get killed and why he just, you know, why he got shot. Because uh, if you know, you know. He was supposed to be done. You hear me? But like I said, it's a lot that go behind that. But I'm not going to get into that. You hear me? Don't leave that way it's at. You dig? So, the short story of it is, you dig? Dude put his hands on something that he shouldn't have put his hands on. And, uh, he got hit. He got hit up. He survived it. And, uh, he told everything he knew. And, uh, the last... The last flash we uh we brought him to Kenna cause uh he was supposed to get a uh the next day he was supposed to go out of town or whatever. And um you know like I said that was the last time I had a song. But uh we brought him out there to Kenna and then the next thing you know, uh you saw the papers and uh you saw the papers and he was in the uh papers for ninety nine years or whatever like that, you know what I mean? And um you know, so uh, excuse me. I don't know. Um, Fulton was a motherfucker, though, man. He got a lot of different stories about him and Lele. You heard me back then, but um, like if you if you if you don't know, him, you will be scared of that nigga. You heard me. Like, if you ain't no stand-up, you will be scared of that nigga. You hear me? He just got this little, like, aura to him. You hear me? But cool nigga, at the same time, cool nigga. You hear me? But, to think about that, man, him and Gangsta was beefing back then. That's crazy, you hear me? That's crazy as a mug. You hear me? But, um... Yeah, I just wanted to come here and I just wanted to see that you did. Because, uh, you know, yeah, he got him 99 years, man. He could have still been home, man. He would have just chilled out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he got him a job, everything. Yeah, he was supposed to be working at the Nike factory. He got him a little apartment, got him a little whip and everything else. You know, but he wanted to do what he wanted to do. And you did. Yeah, went back on. It got 99, you hear me? But, uh, you know, like I said, I just want to say that about uh, Funk and Fool, you hear me? You know, and I'm out.